Hey, and I am back. I am back, people. I am back. So, um, I'm going to take Orlando out of the plate, right? And then we're going to rock and roll. Rock and roll. We've got a few minutes here, so I'm going to take him out of the plate, and we're going to do a general view. He has lost his mind, Orlando, but not by too much. He's, let's put it this way, 85% of his mind is working really, really well. The other 15 is not. And when I ask the winds why, they said drugs, bitterness, and disappointment. It can drive a person crazy. He has done everything he can to try to work on that bitterness and that rage. And he ain't doing too good. Anyway, Orlando. Show me your life. Orlando. Show me your life. Orlando. You know what? Interestingly enough, in his former life, the same thing happened to him. It looks like he's going to reach the height, and then he doesn't. So this fell. A shooting star, really. That's what I'm going to call it. A shooting star. He was a star. A major star. He was going places, and then he fell. But it fell in the future. So what we are seeing of Orlando is not the beginning but it's like the middle. He is really going to fall. The people that he is talking about, the people whom he is threatening with his words, the people that he is fearing and is therefore showing, you know, showing the world as if, I don't know, I might be crazy, I might not be, and everybody is debating on whether he is crazy or not. Those same people are going to push him off the board. They are literally going to come together and they're going to push him out off the board. Meaning, he may still be in the public eye, but they're pushing him off the board. They don't want him talking about them anymore. They're done with that. They're done. They, they just don't want him to open his mouth at all. And that is coming pretty soon. See, they came after him. So they may not be coming after him individually. They may be coming after him as a group of men. They came after him and they are about their business of shutting him up. So Orlando, we, he may keep talking and people may have pre-recorded stuff, right? But with time, you will not be hearing from him anymore. His fame was blocked. In the past, Orlando's fame was blocked it was a straight up blockage and the blockage went on for years he was supposed to rise again um seven to eight months from now he was supposed to rise again but he did not wait for it he didn't wait for the rise so anyway the blockage over here caused him a lot of bitterness and a lot of rage and that is what he has carried into the future. He has carried his failures of the past into the future. He has failed to forgive those who hurt him. But most of all, he has failed to forgive himself. Sometimes he just wants to die. He just wants to go away. It's just too much. But then he says, oh, hell no. He has to be heard. He has to fight what happened to him. My question is... Why was the fame blocked, Orlando? Okay. Why was your fame blocked? Why was your fame blocked? Why was your fame blocked? Why? Something that we did. Sexual assault. Sexual assault. It was discovered and his fame was blocked. It is something he did when he was very young, but it was very brutal. So he is saying, I only did what they did to me. I don't know why it was so different when it was me. 
when they were doing it to me it wasn't you know they didn't get into trouble but i guess i didn't have really powerful people on my side like bernie medina you know to pull me out that's what he said Okay, so he's comparing himself to Will Smith right now. Basically, he's saying he only did what Will Smith also did once. But for him, it ended his career. It's like it didn't end his career with us, the people. It ended his career in Hollywood. They were too scared to touch him. But then when we reach out like this, you guys, when we reach out like this and we touch that altercation that he had with that individual, doesn't look like it was a, a female. It looks like it was a male, male to male altercation. And the male was younger than him, much younger. We see a lot of brutality. So Orlando laughs and smiles and looks kind of crazy, but he has a lot of brutality. He did something permanent to that little boy. And it was just like, oh no, if he can do this, he's going to do it again and again and again. Okay. I'm looking at the time because I hate talking when the screen went. Um, okay, we've got four minutes. I am so sorry. He is violent. It's always interesting to me that we black people, as a general rule, whether we are Africans or African Americans or black Europeans, we gravitate towards the most violent people. And on this board, even on the last shell thing, he has a lot of support. He has a lot of support from the public. He has a lot of support. It's like we turn blinders on about the person's true character. Even I did when I started reading this because I really honestly thought that, you know, he'd been done wrong. I still kind of do because he is saying, well, everybody else did it, so why am I different? Right. Okay. Why are you different, Orlando? Why are you different? This guy is really violent. I believe in the video he laughed at Chris Brown and he said, I don't beat my women. He is violent. Okay, he may not beat his women, but he does not. Okay, why were you the exception to the rule, Orlando? Why were you the exception to the rule? Why were you? He's solely saying he doesn't know why he was an exception to the rule. And that's why the shell fell out. He blacks out. It's how he does what he does. So when he is in a sexual encounter with someone and is really way gone, he blacks out. He is gay, although he doesn't. He just said bullshit. Or, you see, he's not admitting it. But he is gay. He just said bullshit and he's not admitting it. But he is gay, people. This guy is gay. Okay? He gay. Alrighty, but he's not admitting it because he says it's not the manly thing to do. He's saying, Boo. so when he Orlando became what he his accusers were, right? He blacks out from he gets caught in the moment, yeah, because the shelf. He blacks out. He gets caught in the moment. So as he is doing his business with the males, it's coming out as with males, females. It's a strategic thing with them. But with males, and as he is subjugating the other male, he blacks out. That's how he gets there. Okay, that's how he gets there. He loses himself completely. He blacks out. Okay. And so, I've only got one minute. So I'll say be kind to yourselves, people. Be gracious to yourselves. I have been going through the worst time of my life. Well, I always have the worst time. It, it, I do. I do. This was one of the hardest and one of the worst. And 
it's going to take me a while to recover. I'm just limping along. But these videos are really the first ones I have done for entertainment purposes only. And I'm so grateful to have an audience. And I'm so grateful to have this ability to even reach some of you. Seeing as how YouTube told me it could not recover my channel from what had been done to it. YouTube told me that it was permanent. They don't have the knowledge. They don't have the know-how to recover it so thank you so much for hanging with me and thank you so much and we will see you in part two where we will be going up uh, we had to check out his state of mind so we're going to start with whitney houston he's secretly still alive and in soldier boy's body and then we are going to go to william will smith sexually assaulted him because he seems to be extremely bitter about what will smith did to him he is extremely bitter okay so let us um move on to next one it's 30 minutes up much love people see you in the next video